Hello there guys, welcome to the channel, Talking with Jay Spring. I'm your host Jay, giving you a video on the channel today. Hello there guys and welcome to today's second video on the channel today. I decided to review the movie Booksmart. It's been highly rated and highly talked about, so I decided to give it a watch and give you guys my thoughts and opinions. I want you guys to basically leave me yours down below, your ratings, your thoughts, whether you liked it, you disliked it. If it's just not your type of movie, let me know in that comment section down below. And don't forget, if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for much, much more. At the moment, I'm doing a journey to X-Men Dark Phoenix YouTube series and a bunch of other great stuff when it comes to movies and TV series. This is the channel for you. I want you guys to give me your opinions as much as I give you mine. And yeah, let's just enjoy the stuff that we've got on this channel and the stuff coming. Also guys, if you haven't checked out earlier Ron's review, I uploaded the review for the Us movie which came out earlier on this year. And also guys, if you enjoyed this video, simply smash that thumbs up. Let me know you're enjoying my content and to give you more just like this one. So without further ado guys, let's jump straight into this movie review. Booksmart. Now this is directed by Olivia Wilde, who's actually not known as a director, mainly an actress. She has directed and produced and written stuff before, but mainly an actress. This is a comedy movie around 1 hour and 45 minutes long, and it was released May this year, 2019. On the eve of their high school graduation, two academic superstars and best friends realised they should have worked less and had more fun. Determined to not fall short, the girls crammed four years of fun into one night. So one thing I would just want to say before we get into this, now these type of movies, the coming of age movies, is a genre which I appreciate and understand and what no why it's talked about massively, but this genre just I haven't had much luck with. Now this one I've given a chance because it's been major, majorly spoken about and highly rated, so I decided to give this a chance and give you guys my opinion, of course, as I always do on this channel. So the good points about this movie is the cinematography and the editing give this movie some great shots and great moments throughout the movie. The high school side of things I found quite interesting as well. It had some funny aspects and the movie made me think a lot about college and secondary school here in England. Obviously it's different to many people over in obviously the US and stuff like that. Obviously it's high school and stuff. This would be more relatable to you guys of course. But for me here it's college or secondary school and it made me think back a lot. Now this can be quite a bad point for some people but for me I didn't have the worst time in secondary school or college. I had some good moments and some bad so it made me think of the good times. I really love the way the story ex experimented making us feel a certain way about growing up and how it's hard and the reality of the drama just really felt natural and just it just made us feel so realistic really and it really connected with me at the moment I'm obviously the age of 24 I'm coming into them years, coming up towards them 30s and stuff soon, and I'm starting to realise life gets harder as you get older, and this certainly done that with a comedy twist to it, which I respect, and I enjoyed that part of the movie. I also thought um, the characters were very well built throughout the movie with some great performances. Now, I'm going to go through some of the great performances I wanted to talk about, which was Caitlin Dever as Amy, as well as Beanie Feldstein as Molly. These two really took the movie to a whole new level, really. These were the two main reasons, really, why well, I really sort of enjoyed the movie in a way because their performances, their chemistry together really showed on screen and these were two relatable students. They gave the, the movie some comedy moments, they gave the movie reality and drama, they had some clashing moments, it had everything to do with these two. The story was built around these two so they were the main focus. As well as Jason Sudeikis, Sudeikis I, I don't know how to pronounce that, as Principal Brown. Now, I've seen him in a lot of other movies like Horrible Bosses and uh, and stuff like that. And he's just a great comedy uh, aspect to this side of the movie. I think he plays a great character as well. Some of the bad points I'm going to go through is I felt that the side characters were pushed to the side by a lot. Now, these main two characters, obviously playing as Amy and Molly, were the two mains. And I felt that the side characters I didn't really care for, I didn't really find interesting. It was mainly about these two. Now, we did have some side characters which were quite funny, had some little moments, but they weren't. I didn't really care for them. I didn't feel that they was an interesting and crucial part of the story, which I felt, which leads on to my next one, the writing and the script wasn't great. And that leads on to that because the character arcs of some of the side people could have been changed and made a little bit better to bring them into the movie and made them feel a little bit more important to the movie. And, and the story the writing the script for that as well means the dialogue and some of the dialogue just didn't really resurrect with me which leads on to some of the comedy in this movie it just didn't some of it fell flat for me now some of it 
was quite good when it comes to the high school scenes and stuff like that. But most of it fell flat for me. And, and maybe this is because I'm coming from England or something. I don't know. I feel like it's more of an American type movie. And the comedy, it, it all depends on what type of humour you're really into. And I felt this really wasn't my type of humour. That's just really why it came across to me. So guys, let's have a look what the critics had to rate this movie. We have Rotten Tomatoes giving it a 98%. IMDb giving it a 7.5 out of 10. And Metacritic giving it a 85. My rating for this movie is a 6 out of 10. That makes this movie hey, a good that's movie. That's pretty good. So guys, this movie just really isn't for everybody. It's not for me really. It's not my type of genre. I respect the genre. And I just think as a certain type of comedy with some great moments and good elements to it, what it's trying to do, I would recommend you guys give it a watch. Basically try it for yourself. Let me know what you think about it, of course in that comment section and just me personally I just didn't think it was a bad movie I just felt it deserve, it does deserve some good praise for what it does it definitely isn't one of the worst movies of that genre I did praise it being a good movie for what it is as a genre and I know I'm pretty odd to not like this movie but hey we're, we're all human aren't we so guys, a 6 out of 10 from me for Booksmart. Don't forget to leave your ratings and thoughts down below in that comment section. Smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and hit the bell for much, much more. You ain't going to want to miss the content coming up on the channel and the content already on the channel. Just like the Us movie review, which I posted up earlier on. Go ahead and check that out, guys. And all the other content on the channel. And stay tuned for much, much more. Without further ado, guys, I've been me, you've been you. And I'll see you next time on Talking with Jay Springer.